And for our final story, we're going to shift things back to Thunder Bay, where an electric vehicle show was held at the CLE Coliseum to give the public a chance to learn a little more about EVs. Many in attendance were hoping the event can showcase the benefits of electric vehicles and inspire others to purchase their own. Mitchell Ringo's reports. The third annual event presented by Synergy North was in partnership with the Electrical Vehicle Association of Northern Ontario, showcasing electric vehicles and e-bikes that are shaping the future of transportation. Over 20 electric vehicles of all shapes and sizes were on hand with their owners. As co-organizer Mike Siska says, this event is meant to help people get their questions answered and to potentially get them to adopt EV ownership. This is an opportunity to hear from many different owners and uh, it gives us information. We also learn, people give us, I've learned some things today that I didn't know. So, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, not there 100% yet and I could see where people are nervous about the transition, but um, it improves every year and it's incredible uh, how much, how, how fast it's improved. Also improving is the event itself, which was initially outside at Lakehead University's parking lot, but now for another year is inside, taking up the CLE Coliseum building, which Siska says has been a great change. I think being inside, it does give it a, a sense of, of a car show, and it just shows that uh, just like uh, how our event has grown, um, things have changed. Two years ago, I wouldn't have considered an electric car, uh, but the infrastructure is, is improving every year. With improvements does come price, as one of the hurdles for buying into electric is the initial cost. But Siska says every year that passes, it gets easier to be an EV owner. They will come down in price and, uh, and that, and, and the infrastructure will only get better. But I've had no trouble traveling distance. I've probably done 30,000 kilometers in the last five months, and my longest charge was 42 minutes because I chose to have a meal. Most were 15 to 20 minutes. Along with the electric vehicle show, the event also featured a family bike swap hosted by Community Spokes, where residents could bring in their bikes for a quick tune-up, diagnostic session, DIY repair support, or to trade it in. Mitchell Ringo's TVT News.